So in today's video, instead of doing one loadout per video now, since most of the the dares that I am given are mostly loadouts, and you guys have pretty interesting loadouts, and so I will be doing two or three loadouts per uh, loadout video, and yeah, here if I scroll all the way down to the lowest. We have this, which is Combat Candy, Sparkling Horn, Dark Force Saber, Poison Darts, and Elephant Hunter, and finally Dark Mage Wand. Alright, hop into the uh, YouTube loadout. First weapon, here we have Combat Candy. Now, I did not have Combat Candy, but it is pretty similar to Cloud Disperser, I think. So, I'm gonna use that. <coughs> <coughs> And next up, we have Sparkling Horn, the uh, Rhino. Where's Rainbow Rhino? I they go. And Dark Mage Wand. Wait, Dark Mage Wand or Dark Force Saber? Dark Force Saber. In the specials, he is using the Poison Dots. Now, my, my Poison Dots is at Mythical, so it might be better than the ones that you guys have. And the next up, we have the Elephant Hunter. Now, I'm not sure if I have or not. Okay, never mind. I got it. And finally, Dark Mage Wand and Mythical. He didn't give me any gadgets, so I'll just use the ones that I have last time. And hop into my first game, which is going to be Team Fight. And first game with this uh, loadout Team Fight Classic Pool. Aight. And saw this dude. Now, I'm not the best at cat spamming, but I I'm going to just try my best here. Do that, and I do believe that the Dark Mage Wand has no travel time, but okay, okay, and yeah, I'm not really sure about the combat candy since I do not have that, and I'm not really sure what it actually is close to, but hope it is close to the. Uh, the the clouds disperser since that's the one that I have and rocket jump Okay That is someone I am also not familiar with cats buying with the elephant hunter So I'm not really sure if it's any good or not Oh, come on Okay, I'm at Hi, let's go bees And yeah, like I said, I'm not the best cat spammer so, gameplay here might make the loadouts a bit less good than it actually is, but, well, I'll let the gameplay itself decide. But, Sparkling Horn is not really usually a good cast by weapon, since it's had both input and output delay, but it does uh, provide good damage, so there's also that. And... I also think my sensitivity is a bit too high, so I'm gonna just lower that a bit. And. Uh, there you go. Ah! Chill, bro. Okay, shoot. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did he hit me, though? I. Not gonna complain much, since do believe that it's a skill issue. Gonna be easy. And sticky turret, don't even know that you can put it over there. But I. I. Uh, if only Pixel Gun can make it so that you can alter the the loadout down below. Like instead of altering only like big and small in that set position, you can actually decide to like move it more to the left or more to the right. That would be great. <coughs> <clears throat> huh. Now, I did think I saw someone. Yeah, this dude. Yeah, I thought so. So I saw this guy just spamming Raw Ashbringer instead of actually oh, using Raw Ashbringer as a rocket jump weapon and just uh, heavily. Okay. Instead of using the Raw Ashbringer as a. Uh, support rocket jump weapon, he actually used that as his main weapon, so 
that's a big no-no since the damage on that is honestly not the best. So, yeah, I should probably start using this. It might not be combat candy, but I think it also works pretty similar. So, yeah. But, oh, yeah. And yeah, I think combat candy does not have blindness, that's for sure. But, oh well. Oh well. Come on, the bees. Nice. Yeah, I, again, I say I'm not the best cat swimmer. And I just do not know how to cast my of the primary category, so... Yeah, that's why I haven't been using my uh, replacement for the combat candy. And I got 13 kills off that. Not the worst. Eh. But yeah, first lot out here. Just gonna give it out and just say... Having the combat candy to mix it up for the other, well... Very repetitive, uh, casual cat spam loadouts, I say. <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, Elephant Hunter also pretty good. And the same goes for Dark Mage Wand. I say Dark Mage Wand is a pretty underrated one, and it's pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> and with that, I will add this to the list of duns. Okay, dread. Me. Next up, we have slept here. Wait, did I already use this before? I think I did do this before. Because I can't remember very, very well. Oh, these are weeks ago. Oh, dang. Whoops. But the uh, next one, next up, we have one that asked for Viking. And for the backup, he asked for Laser Cyclad, which I'm just going to say is Laser Cycler. And also the phone swords, which I do remember I have. Yep. And the specials, we have poison darts yet again, and the and the carrot crossbow. Now I do not have carrot crossbow, and I do know that carrot crossbow is super OP because the critical uh, critical damage will one hundred percent one shot, even if it's uh, body shots. Because it, it still does 200 something damage, but it does have a little bit of travel time. So I'm going to try and find something that has maybe critical damage and also travel time. Or maybe not 100% critical, not 100% not with the travel time, but good damage nevertheless. And something that does good damage and has travel time that I see here is the Huggins. Now, Huggins is really good, but the downside to this is that it has travel time. So, yeah. I guess I could have aimed for one shot as it also does a lot of damage. You know what? Okay, Huggins it is. And for the heavy, we have Automatic Decorator. And I don't quite remember what Automatic Decorator is, but I do remember as something similar to Gem Power. And again, no more modules. No, uh, no, no, what? No gadgets, so the ones I used for last video or last loadout video. And we have Arabian Dust now. Alright, I'm gonna do the bees. Coward! Hiding from up. Oh, that's very low HP. Ah, I forgot my, uh, my heavy. It has a uh, fixed delay. I'm not sure about automatic decorator. But yeah, I don't I don't r remember automatic decorator at all. So I do remember it's a it's a wait no that's quadruple death. Oh wait no then I do not know what I do not know what the automatic decorator is. My bad. Yeah you know what since I already decided on this it it's. This replacement is gonna be the gem power. Gem power is also pretty decent, and you can get it in the golden clan chest, which is pretty good. And I'm surprised my bees did not get a single kill there. Right, that's a kill. That's another one, and we are losing by exactly half of their entire points. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. Hi. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, we are losing by a lot. And yeah, that is a lot of kills that they got. And yeah, jump power. Uh, carry crossbow replacements. And yeah, if you do enjoy this type of video where I just mash some uh, viewer loadouts into one video like uh, Mr. Mint Gaming does. Because I have a lot of them. And yeah, I have a lot of them. And I don't mean to make it like a drag or like a bad thing that I have a lot of them. But I do have a lot of them. And I just want to be able to do all of them without actually making like making that it making it look like that i'm just using that using your uh, loadouts if i have no video ideas i have no video ideas that's why i'm doing this but yeah it's yeah more compact you know so i can do more loadouts and if you guys have a loadout that you want me to test out yeah feel free to comment down below and I'm doing horrible with this loadout. Why? Finally a kill. And yeah, a foam sword as a replace as a movement weapon. It's also pretty good, but it's only for people who doesn't have cashback. Since cashback, it's not really hard to get, but it is somewhat of a pain to get. So foam sword, I do believe you can get that in a previous church fan. So that does explain why he is using the foam sword but it's good and what i mean previous trailer fan does it is it does it does it include off three weeks ago this this there or this loadout has been compensated to me three weeks ago terribly sorry that i didn't do this yet but how is my aim so bad holy cow die jeez this is like Swiss cheese, not the normal American ugly cheese, but Swiss cheese, blue cheese even. Oh my god! Holy cheese! My aim is really terrible. Come on, die! Ah, how's that on my kill? Ah, okay, turrets. But yeah, sadly I did terrible at that game and kind of really display the never mind i got 15 kills i take that as a good good game yeah and my third and final lot of for today's uh video uh, will be well this one first up i'm gonna just whip out a d-o-n-e since that is what it is finish that and finally we have viking duanga here at epe no tick Dreams Warden and Brave Lion, and he loves my content, so well, props to you. And first up, Viking, and I do not have Dua Anga, but there is another that looks pretty similar. Now, do, does Dua Anga have poison? Because if it does, then I kind of have to switch it up a bit and use another replacement weapon. Where's Dua Anga? Because I can have sworn I got like hundreds of parts of this. Okay, it's not down here. I definitely have more than 100 parts of that. No, that's Rich Revolver. Close, I guess. I'm not close to Dua Anga. Uh, oh, it has Life Steal. Uh, yeah, who cares about Life Steal? I am still replacing it with Ice Wyvern Horns. The Ice Wyvern Horn is about a 2 to 3 shot kill. To the body and about one to two shot kills to the head so it's pretty similar to with door anger but this one also has ricochet and piercing so it's kind of a buff to the door anger and for the melee he is using the heric epi overall a really well-rounded weapon and for the special buzz he's using okay and no tick pretty good but only for people who have bad aim because it has a bigger hitbox than poison darts. So, yeah. And he is using Dreams Warden. Yeah, I do not have Dreams Warden. But I'm going to just replace it with maybe Anti-Champion Rifle. Because that was pretty similar-ish. Yeah, I'm going to use Ancestor's Curse since it does more damage per headshot damage. I think. 
Yeah, I'm really not sure about it. Ancestor's Curse it is. I'm also equipped this skin because it looks cooler uh, for the heavy. He is using the Brave Lion, which is right here. Never mind. Brave Lion, what is... Isn't that a... Whoa. I guess he meant Invincible Lion. It's pretty close. Again, no gadgets. So, same thing. Using the last uh, lot of video. I don't know. But Arabian Dust, I'm back into. Very nice. Have modules on all of them, which is good. And I'm gonna put the bees. Holy cow. How am I also losing in this game, too? Both games I'm in on the Arabian Dust map, I have been losing. Why? And yeah, if you don't know Brave Lions, not Brave Lion, but Invincible Lion, it's an actually very OP weapon. It can one, it can almost one shot every single time, and with the uh, with a big boy super punch, it can one hundred percent one shot all the time. And yeah, overall really OP, uh, OP heavy that has no rec recognition. Pretty sad, but at least it's not all over the meta. Like this, like, used to be. Alright, let's go. He's dead. No take power. Gotta put the bees out. Uh, at least one kill there, so... None of them are my kills. Alright. And uh, bang. Nice. And if you don't know, Assassin's Curse, it can almost one-shot every single... A uh, one-shot headshot every single time. So, it's a pretty good replacement if you do not have the Dreams Warden. And I'm pretty sure you can get it in the Trez Van recently. So, that's also good. Because I got in the Trez Van that. So, pretty sure you guys can too. And I just wasted a Super Punch. Ah. Shotgun. Fake. Wait, there's delay between the... Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's the worst. I died. I, eh, eh, eh. I bees. And yeah, if you don't know, door anger is actually a pretty good weapon. But compared to the newer cat spammable backups nowadays, it is nowhere close. But door anger is pretty good though. Eh. Come here. Stop being a wussy. Stay still. And let me kill you. Nice. Wait, how did I not get the... Okay. Eh. Ah! Oh my gosh. I could have killed them. Yeah. Oh. A ba. Frick. A bang. Bang. Okay, how? Okay. But yeah, this lot is honestly pretty decent. And I don't like... I don't usually like playing three games per video because that makes the video longer and that's what I used to do so Come on nice and yeah, that's what I used to do so I made every game about like one about two to three games instead of uh, three or more games uh, Bang and yeah invincible lines are honestly really OP and uh the replacement dreams wardens are also really underrated and uh, yeah all these weapons that i have all these loaders i mentioned today honestly deserve probably a nine or an eight out of ten but the only thing about these loaders is that they're cat spam low so they get pretty repetitive over time because most of them has a very similar of you can see a very obvious pattern here and that is Viking, uh, shotgun, uh, uh, maybe laser or single. Sh Wait, no. Yeah, a uh, cat spammer bow backup, or sometimes put a sucker gun in a melee movement weapon, either heroic epi, cashback, uh, jet spear, or the additional biting limb or a dash weapon. Uh, where is it? Uh, for the special, it's always gonna be. And uh, no tick or poison dots. Yeah, otherwise those do nothing else. Although you can cast my with those. And uh, for the sniper, 
it's always a really OP sniper. <coughs> uh, for the heavy, it is a rocket jump weapon, or sometimes a rocket jump weapon that can be cat spammable. And yeah, for all of these solos, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. And yeah, I'm just add this to the list of being done. And yeah, if you guys have a, a loadout that you want me to do in a future video, then feel free to comment down below, and I have a high chance of actually doing them. And that's about it for today's video, and hope you have a great day.